What's up, yo? We are back, man. We're for another video for y'all on NBA 2K23, y'all. NBA 2K23 on my career episode 35. Let's get right into it, for sure. So, you're, you're going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves again, y'all. This is our second time going against these teams, y'all. So, yeah, we're going up against Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Edwards, Rudy Gilbert, D'Angelo Russell, Jaden McDaniels, Kyle Anderson, Jalen Reed, Torian Prince, Jordan. Brian Forbes, Austin Rivers, Wendell Moore Jr., Nathan Knight, Josh. That's right. It's just gameplay, y'all. So for sure. Hey, yo. Hold on. I'm gonna go back real. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go back real quick. Cause season five is about to end. So, yeah. So we got 13 minutes and 47 seconds until season five ends. So yeah, y'all. All right. Season six is about to. End. Again, it's so cold in this room, so I got a heater in here. All right, I'm going for 25 triple doubles. Today, Friday, so they are going to make episode 31. And this heater. Maybe yeah, that's better. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. <laughs> it's that time of the year. Happy holidays, everyone, from two DA, it's all yours. Thanks a lot, Kevin. The Bucks have a tight knit locker room. Pat Connaughton says we've got great leaders on our team. And they've proven that it works. And they're looking for more. David, thank you. And the starting lineup for the Timberwolves. Backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. Underneath in the post, Towns and Gobert. And it's Prince in at the three, the small forward. And for Milwaukee, Middleton the small forward with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Lights out out there with Smooth. And it's Lopez yeah. in at the five, patrolling the paint. At this point of the season, Greg, right in the heart of the schedule, what are the biggest challenges for a player? Kevin, sometimes it's just about knowing what city you're in. The, the travel in this league is wow. crazy. I thought I had to see you really want to keep focused and, and sleep and eat right. Vital. On defense, Milwaukee. And it's Russell missing. Here's Smooth. He's guarded by Russell. Smooth, that's good. Yes, sir. He is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And that's what a coach loves to see yeah. in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Count it. And All just right. an excellent rebounder. Gobert is so good at using that incredible wingspan to track down those additional scoring opportunities. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Anthony Town. That one is on town. First personal. And Giannis's journey GA is so incredibly compelling. A full length. Hey yo, bro. I, you know what? Tomorrow I'm just gonna make two videos, not three, because I'm I don't, I don't got the energy to make three tomorrow. So two tomorrow, two on Sundays. One on weekdays, actually. So yeah. I'm put it on. Well, <laughs> made about his and his brother's path to the NBA. Well, you hear that saying, my life is like a movie. Never truer than for Giannis. It's been an odyssey for the Greek freak. Yeah. Here's Towns. Nope. Smooth with the rebound. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you can test his shots every time down the floor. Look at number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. 
Such a wide open look. You know, with good form, Lucky. a quick release, and a nice feel, I was doing something. Russell's comfortable in catch and shoot situations. Here's yeah. Smooth, and a strong finish with two hands. Oh, taking it to the rack with power, hammering down the two hand slam. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. The Timberwolves have gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Here's Russell. Nope. And he Took those two shots. It's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Oh. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And you know you're gonna get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up nope. the court as fast as you can. Edwards can't hit. For Milwaukee, they've gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. Here's Smooth, and then jam down as he goes right over Rudy Gobert. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, man. You can see how they're finishing their play. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, for every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. This is going to be, be, be nice. All next week, this is going to be good. Outside Edwards. I mean, it's spring, so, of course. Passes it to Prince. <laughs> Edwards looking it over. Five on the clock. It's time to get to be awake. It's time to get to remember. Bear down low. Lopez covering. On offense, here are the Bucks. They're on a 13 to 4 run right now. Smooth uh. misses. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Towns, no luck. Milwaukee leading by nine. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. I mean, no, nah, I would not have to post like two every, like two every, Here's like seven. I don't really have he's to post two on the weekends. So I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna post one. On the weekends and weekdays, actually, Lopez. so I don't got the energy right now. So <clears throat> that's why. Here's smooth. Twelve points for him. Shoot. Oh my God. Six for nine. That's, that's not bad mark. though. And oh, here we go. Prince has got it. The fast break. That cheese out of here. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. But I will get through to serious though. Don't worry. Outside Russell. No nope. pointer. And you can see they're struggling from the field. But still early. I mean, they just got to trust their offense and work to get stuff. The side coach. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. And you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge too. Don't discount that. Mark, if you take a look at the superstars on this Bucks team, they are extremely selfless. Yeah, they really are. That's one of their great attributes. They just want to win. The pieces fit well together. Doesn't matter how they do it, who does it. They're all in it to win championships. Total team mindset. And, you know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. Trash. Excellent all around performance so far hits the big lead. Yeah, you know, oh, you're playing that good defense early on, on like all these. Early on. And the Timberwolves call time. And the assets traded by the Wolves for Rudy Gobert surprised a lot of people. In essence, five first round picks, three of them unprotected. They better hope this thing works out. A lot right now. To end the drought. Huh. Oh, that cheese out of here, bro. Why like, are you going to keep trying, bro? You're going to keep trying to score. So it's not going to happen, bro. By the time they this game, season six already go be there, well. so be here, so. Wow, bro. Defended by Gobert. Oh, he misses the dunk. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. 
Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. Man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. Great opportunity for a three-point play. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Reed, he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Anderson comes in for Towns. Nick Daniels, he's checked in for Torian Prince. And it's Noel in for D'Angelo Russell. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out oh, yeah, Drew Pitts. blazing. Loads it up for Giannis. Throws yeah. down the alley and slam. Kumpo oh, is so long. I mean, he stretches forever, covers a ton of ground. And it's Anderson with the ball for Minnesota. And we have an intentional foul there, GA. Uh, where should I get say why? <laughs> Here's Smooth. They have a 22 point lead. It's the most they've led by. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. We've got Smooth. Portis is out there with Chris Middleton. Then it's Brook Lopez. Wow. It's lights out in a two guard. Deep two nope. from Russell. Makes no wow. mistake on the open jump shot. Russell's got his second bucket of the night. You like what you have there. Mm, Russell got four crafty points. with the dribble. Shooting 20% from the field. Down to Middleton. They get the rebound. Beyond the arc. Bro, Lopez, bro really? You know Timberwolves trail by 20. I got Brony got one still. Hold up. Give me a second. Alright. So Le oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yesterday because I said LeBron James was gonna turn 38 on here. So yeah. Here's Russell. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. D'Angelo Russell, the second overall pick in 2015. Yeah, pretty interesting too, Kevin, that the Lakers traded him after just his second season. It was basically a salary dump. It wasn't about talent because he's got plenty of that, but he was young when he came into the league. He had a reset at age 21 and then went on to rebuild his stock in Brooklyn, making an all-star game there. And by doing that, showed everybody that he could start over. Minnesota calls timeout. You know, when you think about the all-time greats in Milwaukee Bucks history, I mean, two names come right to mind at the top of the list. Lou Alcindor, also known now as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. Prince misses. Bucks leading by 20. Here's Smooth. It's time to get to be awake. It's time to get to remember. And stolen ah, bad. All right, Russell. Break, Russell leading the way. Look at you slowing Trends down. Wide open. Like and an idiot. Off the mark by Minnesota. Clark, both Kareem and Giannis Antetokounmpo are greats in their own unique respective right, aren't they? Yeah, I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, forces of nature, both of those guys. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the iconic and unmatched skyhook, which was a lethal weapon. And then Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, you think about his athleticism, his speed, his ball handling skills at seven feet tall is something we've not quite seen. Both of those guys had similar impact in their uniqueness and their championship caliber mindset. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play, then the impact dunk. Well, turning defense to offense, we talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Here's Towns. Nope. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. Driving inside. And offensively. Defensively, they are in total With the reverse control. Don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. Prince against two more Prince. rebounds. How many steals? And seven more steals. And I would get 25 triple doubles. Here's Russell. It's time to get the remember. Another shot. And that's two points uh, on the way. And how about the play? It's time to get, there it's time the to get to be awake. It's time to get the remember. 
Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Great father time is undefeated, and every player has to make the decision when it's time to retire. How big a factor was age for you? Well, you don't want to leave anything on the table, but your body will tell you when it's time. I know that was the case for me. Milwaukee making a switch. Ingles is checked in. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Bucks. They have started this game looking to push the tempo, and it's working for them. Great job of scoring in transition. You know, points off turnovers is something else they've excelled in. I expect the opponent at least to try to squeeze that up by 30. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. Yeah, you look at Russell, and one of the things I like most about his game is this guy has great vision and passing ability. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And one of the biggest stories of the summer was Rudy Gobert being traded. Gets a fresh start with the Timberwolves. Here's Smooth. And then the reverse right over And this offense is in a perfect rhythm. And you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Here's oh, yeah. Out. Hit that. And again, it's Milwaukee. Yes, sir. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on. Outside Edwards. Jackson nope. with three. Milwaukee oh, my three God. Ball. Really jerk the hits. Edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That'll be the first of four played at home for him. Pass to town. And he banks in the lane. Oh, nice read by Edwards there, finding a wide open teammate and sending the ball his way on target. Here's Smooth. Look at that. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Watch out. Wow. We are going to remember that one for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. A circus dunk for you right there, guys. And here's Russell. He's got six. Towns is double. Man. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. That's a jump Let's take ball. a second look at that fantastic block. Reads the play well there and gets himself in the air at just the right time. Terrific denial. Milwaukee with the ball. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a the Jordan Cradle. We are seeing just playing with poise and confidence, and they continue to put points on the board. Well, I like the way they're playing. A very smart first half. Quality shots, not wasting possessions. Russell passes to Prince. Outside, Russell. Give me get nine rebounds. Give me nine rebounds. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Rebound by of course. And another miss. Oh, so he's had a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Total breakdown from the defense there. Come I mean, in free myself. Take advantage when that's the case. Here's Russell, and it's yeah, get that cheese out of here. Minnesota keeps possession. Giannis, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. Anderson, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Noel comes in for Edwards. Here's Russell. Oh. Again, Russell missing. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Minnesota's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Takes the three. Oh. The rebound by the Bucs. Let's go. Smooth's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Goes in for the dunk. Really likes that work there in the paint. He has really established a low I am shooting 84 percent from the field, so that's we want a 25. Percent overall right now, not one of their better showing. Dang. Well, the pain tells it all. He's hurt, and let's hope he's okay. 
Well, I mean, you really feel for him. I mean, and the intentional the foul. Team, that's why. You gotta hope for the best. Yeah, Maybe he had touched this his freaking elbow or, or arm or something. You just never know when injuries might show up. McDaniel's is jumped in from Minnesota. Jordan McLaughlin comes in for D'Angelo Russell. The Bucks make a dominating first half of basketball, and so far hasn't been close. Milwaukee on top, running away with this one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Big round of applause for your. Thanks very much, Mike. Stout effort defensively in the first half. What did you do to limit them? I just think our activity on the ball, we got to try and keep it in front of us. Our bigs did a good job, I think, being big in the paint, making things tough there. We got to finish it with the board. Yep, rebounds and possessions, coach. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow, right here on 2K Sports. It's the 2K Sports halftime half show. show. Yes, sir. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game. game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a fast pace for Milwaukee at the outset. Their exceptional focus and all-around execution immediately triggered a 15-4 run at the start. They delivered a real beatdown in the first quarter, ending with a whopping lead. Then in quarter number two, it was all hands on deck, and what a show it was. Quality execution, good efficiency, some tremendous defensive play. Help them take a decisive advantage, and they're running away with this one. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, they knocked the win out of the defense in transition, converting fast break baskets in volume. It's a runaway lead right now. In fact, this looks like a track. Chad, what do you think about Minnesota? Blocks. The shooting percentage they allow is through the roof. The coach should absolutely be ripping into the defensive effort. We need to take some pride on the other end. Just lock it in. Lock it in. Lock it in. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out first. if the two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. What a game we're seeing from Smooth. Well, he, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steal. Well, I thought it was a great defensive performance for him so far. He's aware, he's alive, he's alert, quick to react to everything that's going on around him. Much better than that. And so, so in good. The for the Timberwolves, underneath in the post, Towns and Gobert. And give me that. Now I just need to go for steals. I just need four more to get to the uh, triple then doubles. Then Anthony Edwards. And it's Noel in at the one spot. Here he goes. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, and the top man is going for the jugular. Well, he only plays one way, and that's um, full throttle, all day, all the time, cold-blooded <clears throat> and lethal. Oh. And the rejection by Adekunbo. Uh, you know, he's almost the perfect defensive player. He's got length and strength, and he's uh. athletic, and... Giannis plays the game hard all the time, too, which is impressive. Shoot that boy. Noel passes to oh, go. Yeah. Back. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the Second line. Personal foul. First team foul. Last season, Clark, the Timberwolves snapped a three-year playoff drum. An important milestone for this squad, Kevin. Two I mean, shot. it shows they're ready to compete in the postseason. That's huge and speaks to just how far this team has come. An improved free throw shooter compared to his earlier season. Nice to see Gobert attack his weakness. Oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think. Without question, a crowd pleaser to the 10th degree. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. An emphatic rejection that was. Boy, you got to appreciate that kind of forceful in your face defense. 
And the Bucks are on a tremendous run here. The, the most consecutive playoff appearances since that streak they had back from 1980 to 91. He's made all three of his free throws so far. Two shots. Both good from the line that time. Bucks have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Our hood up. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Here's Smooth. What an incredible scoring display he has put on tonight. Just four to shoot. And contact yeah. down the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Third person. Breaking back to the Bucks. Second the question team. is, how much longer do you think and is their window? That's just it, Kevin. They've got the players to win now. And that has to be the attitude moving forward. They're built to do it again. Just need to push all the right buttons. You know, when it comes to the Minnesota Timberwolves, for so long, they've struggled to be competitive. But recently, I think they've started to turn things around. I mean, they've got a nice core. They got a taste of the playoffs recently and now look to build on that. Towns finds Prince. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. And Smooth is going to pick up the foul. Uh, well, that'll be his third foul so far. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Wow. Yep, the next one right, puts got on to the line, that so they've got to be careful the rest of the way. On defense, the Bucks. Towns dishes to Gobert. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Third personal foul. That's on Brooke Lopez. And if he gets looks that plainly, Gobert becomes unstoppable. He makes good use of his body and just wills himself to a foul. And for the Timberwolves, Clark Gettman. Shot clutch. I'm going to give me a burger after this game. So. He dug deep, Greg, into his bag of tricks there. Oh, I'd love to get a replay on that. A white cast to keep so we can so see it again. Those be good, dude. Prince misses. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. A flawless finish on the alley -oop. And what an alley -oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. Prince, the pass to Towns. Out to the wing. Five to shoot. Oh. Here's Noel. He's got 11. He's off from 17 feet. Time now for an injury report. Now for an update. Hey, six games. Let's go to it's crazy. Well, guys, I had him. Oh, man. I mean, he's just been brilliant today, guys. And it was the same exact story last time out. I wasn't quite sure if he'd be able to maintain that same level of play. I had my doubts coming into this game. But consider yes, my sir. doubts and disappear. Yeah, That's my shot, too. Here has been their ability to score for mid range. Pass to Noel to end the run. A rebound by the Bucks. Ada de Kumbo's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So accurate. Oh, I'm not even going to in your face. On both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Unlike a lot of perimeter-oriented teams, GA offensively, the Bucks can really play inside out. No doubt, and, and teams pack in the lane against Milwaukee, but... Giannis in particular is a terrific passer, and if you leave a shooter open, he tends to find it. Rivers is checked in for Noel. Oh, and last year, oh, it's all had a thousand, bro. to their season in their tenth mm. playoff appearance. They made their ninth the first round. The I don't think the Timberwolves, Greg, plan on letting their playoff statistics discourage them at all. I mean, that's our sixth kind of team person of foul. That's, that's our sixteenth oh, foul, bro. Hey, stop. That's not as easy as he made it look. He's got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, that's for sure. Yes, indeed. Let's just call him ladder climber. Right side downs. 
Back to Rivers. There's the triple. And that one is off. Now the Bucks take it the other way. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. And these defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Get it, get it. Yes, sir. Another steal. Here's Smooth. Again, what an avalanche. And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Alder. David. Thanks, Kevin. We've heard about player tracking on the court, but now shot tracking is helping players refine their strokes. It measures not just makes and misses, but the arc and the depth and the left to right direction of shots. These systems provide instant feedback to shooters and help them find the bottom of the net. They Kevin, said, nah, hold up, because they said he, he going to be good. Well, are he, like, they saying Anthony Edwards might be good in five years, actually. That's what they said. He, he got trapped in 2020, so he had three years pro. Yep. Sign me up. I, that is a that is a fascinating story. David, thank you. Portis, he's checked uh, in for Brooke Lopez. And a change for the Timberwolves. Anderson, he's checked in for Prince. Here's Rivers. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Third personal foul. Guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Bucks? The way they've been able to consistently get past the defense and to the cup has been most impressive. They've almost made it look pedestrian. And also, they've made it a point to push it off turnovers. They're, they're playing smart and alert, capitalizing on all the things. Daniel just checked in for the Timberwolves. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. But Timberwolves right, making a switch here. Reed's checked in. And he's going to get whistled for that foul, G. That was intentional. This guy totally forgot. Exactly logical. <laughs> to foul there. I mean, I don't know where his head is, but it's not in the game. Yeah, they say he might be good in five years. The Timberwolves shooting terribly up to this point. Just 30%. Some ramshackle offense play there. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is Mike Budenholzer's lineup. A talented pair of Middleton and Young in at four. Smooth out there with Mike Taylor. And it's Lopez in at the center. See, bro. Mm. Stolen by Anderson. Mm -hmm. The leadership of the NBA mm -hmm. Players Association, Craig, has said they support expansion. And two cities which seem to be the leading candidates, Seattle and Las Vegas. What do you think? Yeah, well, I love both. Had the good fortune of playing in both cities. And Minnesota I'd love to see a team in my hometown. But first bottom line, line, more teams first means team more jobs. And that's the sentiment I think and most can get balls. behind. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Milwaukee. Joe Ingles comes in for Chris Middleton. Timberwolves also changing it up. Worth having another yes, sir. steal. Yeah, He's 25 triple dribbles. Tied for third most steals in a single game. Come on. Incredible tenacity. He continues to hound the ball. And then Carl Anthony All right. Towns with the jam. Towns with the creativity and explosiveness. The Bucks shooting 65%, an outstanding offensive display from them. Here's smooth to the inside, and another one falls. Amazing! He's scoring at an insane level here, folks. The defense powerless to slow him down. Yeah, he's on a mission, closing in on third place. All he swipes the ball away again. He's been a defensive terror all night long. I've never seen anything like him. And he's actually tied the record for the most steals in a game. And another steal yeah. for him. He's so look out! Oh, mm -hmm. oh, let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last. And another one. He 
has been simply unstoppable. The wrist, wrist, and he's now third uh, all time for points in a game. One for the ages. Well, he has already cleared Wilt Chamberlain's 78 points. Next up is Kobe's 81. And if he passes that mark, the basketball world is going to be talking about this guy for years. Here's Towns. Misses off the left eye. Their game plan needs right. to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. And Clark Commissioner Silver noted recently as the league moves to a more selective viewing experience. Load management could hurt revenues even further. Yeah, you know, when more fans can pay to watch individual games, it's a bit of a, an a la carte system. Uh, I think you need that star power every night. And even beyond that, Kevin, I think players, all players, but particularly the star players, have a responsibility nope. to try to show up for work every single night. Oh, snap. Night. Yo, 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 yo. And that really should be the mindset. Another bucket. Wow. All right. The good times keep rolling. Now tied for second all time in scoring for a game. Well, you know, the way he's been able to maintain his focus on offense all game, GN hits it again. Wow. And that score moves him up in the record books yet again. He now stands, Greg, alone for second place for points. What an oh, unbelievable yeah. night. To think that he has eclipsed Kobe's mark of 81 and now has his sights set on 100. This is a game you'll be talking about for decades. Smooth, that's good. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. McLaughlin, the pass to Towns. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. A sensational yeah. block that definitely deserves another look. Get out of here. They're determined Anthony. to add to the lead, not with more this offense. too short, so of course I'm going to get it for shorter. And Milwaukee has possession. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They've outscored him 16 points to two. Slowing down. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Now the pass to Noel. And for coaches' challenges, the refs review nope. their own call. It's a little like creating your own test. Maybe great. Give that job to the review center. You, you definitely risk. Oh my lord, bruh. Bias and, and everyone. I can never hit right it in her face. Like some call stand that oh yeah, J oh yeah, Javon Carter. Bro, why would you slow down? You You're idiot. And the call. Why you slow down, bro? Sends him to the line. First personal foul. And he makes the first. At the line for the box. He's off uh, on the second. And he's been to the line much more here than he was in that first. I ain't shooting a total of He's not playing nearly as tentatively as he was earlier. Crystal blows. Wow. Look at his good. And wow. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his way. Bryn Forbes, he's checked in for Minnesota. Here's Smooth. Oh my god! Of course, bro. Like, literally, of course, of course, bro. Every single time, bro. I like to see, but guys, he definitely looks hurt. And that's the one thing you just really can't control or even guard against. And that's injury. You know, aside from some. Man, forget it. I don't care. I got 25 triple doubles. So no problem for Milwaukee. That's all that matters. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by Fox. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Giannis, you have said in the past you have even more untapped potential. So Man. how did you put your fingerprints on this game? I'm just here to do whatever it takes to help my team win. Did a great job executing, moving the ball, 
And uh, this is what we do. This is what we do. We play together, and uh, whatever we do, hopefully we can get a win at the end of the day. Well, it certainly turned into a win tonight, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Alden, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. Yes, sir. Get it out of here. Uh, 27 dunks. All right. All right, season six is here. So yeah. Twenty pitch injury status has been updated. You're going up against the Wizards. This will be our first time. See why the heck it says I'm 23, but but when I check my freaking think on a box score say I was 24 like what I didn't they might it then says I'm still 23 Let's see LeBron James age then. Let's go still say 37. Yep. <laughs> oh, Lord. Wait, we are we going against the Lakers again on February 9th? Our bad. Subscribe to the channel, turn that post. Uh, notification bell. See y'all never miss an upload. And go follow me. Peace for y'all. Lee underscore Cap underscore 8 underscore Loud underscore 14. I'll see y'all tomorrow in my next video. So for sure, I cannot wait to go back to school though, y'all, man. So yeah. It's almost here. Two more days. Like I said, my last video.